because it's a place where like thoughts can kind of spread out. And you can check out your thoughts, it's a reflection of yourself, you can collect your ideas, you can write, you can draw. It's unique because it's an opportunity for fresh ideas and to be creative. Just to have, having a book is like a, a place to make an impression of your mind on a piece of paper. And when you hand make a book, you, it's nice to remember that it was made slowly. I made a lot of books for a lot of people. And a lot of people don't use them because they say they're like too nice. Started making really crappy books because people would feel more comfortable expressing themselves in them and get really not simple really pretty and also just to see how simple you could get because talking about the theory of the yeah, empty yeah. page the so what is, it's what potential is... energy okay I know some people are intimidated by it. lately I've been playing with the scent of smell and like how to make books smell certain ways and sometimes putting them under something poking holes or like lightly putting cotton swabs of essential oil and rubbing it on the pages. And I, I even made a perfume and I sprayed it. Like I made a book that was made of dittos and other random pieces of paper. Because mm -hmm. they always wanted to doodle around something. I couldn't start drawing anything. Yeah. You can't buy books like that, you know? You gotta make them. <laughs> No questions. You asked how I felt. Tearing books apart. Sometimes I feel okay with it because so many people just let books waste. But then sometimes I find a book and I want to tear it apart because of its cover. And then I realize how awesome it is and it's a lot of times a hundred years old or something so I don't do it. So usually when I rebound books, I use foreign books. on the paper. The paper I use inside. And pe people would buy it for how much? You can get 20. I've sold some books for 40, 50, books. 60. And this print is marbled paper. The parts of a book are covers, front and back, the spine, right here. The small bit is called the headband. It holds the text block together. These are the fly leaves. That's uh, the last page or a separate page of the book glued to the cover.
see why this, this fabric is super good for bonding. How the glue goes over and under through the holes and like ties.